replace a boring auto generated thumbnail with a decent thumbnail in less than one minute well let me show you how you do that hello beautiful people and welcome i'm Oge, and thank you so much for being here with me again today i do appreciate it if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified when new video drops so let's get back to the video I got this question from my comment section and I thought it would be great to answer it using a video. Now when you upload YouTube videos using your phone, there's no possibility to include a custom thumbnail while you are uploading. However, it is possible to change the generated thumbnail to your custom thumbnail and you can do that using the YouTube Studio app which you should already have installed on your phone. Now the first thing we need to do is to create that thumbnail, create the thumbnail that you want to replace the old thumbnail with if you don't know how to do that i already have a video on creating thumbnails using your phone and this also works using the desktop so you can watch that video and then get back to this one now straight into the youtube studio when you open your youtube studio app i'll be sharing my screen again <laughs> when you open your youtube studio app you can see everything concerning your youtube channel the analytics and, and all the videos that you have created you can go assess that going to videos because we have just uploaded only one video which we did when we were creating this channel in the beginning when we did how to create your youtube channel yes we didn't create we didn't add a thumbnail here because of course we couldn't do that now let's click on the video and when you click on this video you can see on the top right corner of your video you can see an icon a pen icon which generally stands for edit so click on that pen icon and we can edit so many other parts of the video but that's not what we are looking at today we are looking at the thumbnail on the thumbnail itself at the top left corner of the thumbnail you can see another pen so now we click on that pen again and we have other options to either choose different parts of the video as other as has been suggested or to choose a custom thumbnail now we're going to choose a custom thumbnail because that's what we want to use anyway you already know your phone and you know where your custom thumbnail that you have created is so i'm just going to choose this one the last thumbnail that we did and i'm going to click on select and save now when we go back to our dashboard you can see that our thumbnail has been updated and that is pretty much it i hope that this has been helpful i hope that this has been straightforward as i intended it to be do give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and thank you for being with me again today do have a fantastic 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 week bye